Hey everyone, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a grain effect, a film grain effect using Affinity Photo 2. Uh, at the end, I will show you the difference between a noise and grain effect, but you can see them right now. So first, let's open our image. I have my image open right now. That is this one. And from here, let's just go into Live Filters and choose procedural texture this will open the procedural texture panel and we are going to be creating a new equation i will leave the equation down in the description so you can copy and paste it so we are just going to use the equation and this equation has an s value that s value stands for scale so for that we are need to create a custom input that is about the scale so let's just go right down here and create a set and just write s and set it to scale scale just like that and from here let's place it to one and turn on the red green and blue and this will create this um, grain now just go into overlay and set this between 45 to 50 to make it look like way more real and less uh, grotesque like it is. Let's go to 445, just like that. And there you have it. This is a way more realistic grain than the noise that Affinity Photo has as a filter option. I will export this and, and then we are going to create a more realistic version using the same principle. Now, to create a more realistic version of this same grain, just take the procedural texture and copy it three times, just like that. And let's turn this off. And let's create a folder with this. Let's call it grain, just like that. And we are going to be changing the names of each procedural texture. We are going to be calling this R, that stands for red. G that stands for green and B that it stands for blue. Now open the R and we are going to turn off the blue and green and we are just going to be leaving the red. Now from here just move the red however you want just like that and do the same for the green just like that and the same for the blue like this there you have it this is a way more realistic grain using the RGB values inside the procedural texture panel now this is the difference between our refined grain and our standard grain you can see that this one looks a bit more it pumps the color a little bit more and makes them look a bit darker so to fix that we can create a brightness and contrast and just amp the brightness up and lower the contrast just like that and you see it looks way better now let's just export it so you can see the difference between this grain and the other grain so this is the image with the second grain that we made that is the more realistic grain and this is the image with the first grain that we made that is like the realistic type grain but it still looks a bit more uh grotesque this is standard image this is realistic grain and this is that really really good grain you know and as always thank you so much for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe and hit like see you next week for the next tutorial. Peace.